use of AI in academia and research increasing day by day. Uh, it is mainly because the AI has really revolutionized the process of Richard and really it has made the things easier. In this video, I'm just quickly and practically showing you how I can use you uh, top AI tools for finding research gaps, for finding research ideas and brainstorming different research fields for your research projects. So uh, I have opened actually the three top uh, current AI tools. One is this chat GPT and I have opened this Google and this is uh, the now the cloud A, the another AI tool that is getting popular very quickly across the academia as well as the researchers. So what I did, I actually pasted this prompt, the same exact same prompt in all these three tools. What was a prompt? It was that I'm planning to write a research paper on the cardiac arrest. First, I just give it from the, what I'm planning, what topic I'm planning to do a research on, that's cardiac arrest, and asked it, please summarize the achievable, see my words, please summarize the achievable research gaps in the literature and give me appropriate references. Now, this is the same prompt that I pasted in Germany that I'm planning this research paper on cardiac arrest and please summarize the achievable research gaps in the literature actually. So and again in the cloud day now remember that I've been using the free version of all these three tools. I'm not at the premium or paid version that are more capable, more advanced and more you know uh, efficient but again same. Now see the difference. You can see that uh, all three of these tools gave me a lot of ideas which even not in my mind, but uh, there was a significant difference in the ideas and responses. See the chat GPT. Chat GPT gave me ideas related to research gaps in cardiac arrest. So these were related to early prediction and prevention with biomarkers and genetic factors. Another research gap was on the pathophysiology of this cortic arrest that was on molecular mechanisms and role of inflammation. I'm not going to detail, just showing you how you can brainstorm an idea. Then another research gap was on resuscitation techniques like optimal chest compression techniques on mechanical versus manual, uh, this cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Then another uh, idea that it gave in a post cardiac arrest cat in which uh, there was theme related to neuroprotective strategies and therapeutic hypothermia, technological innovations related to cardiac arrest that was some wearable devices. Uh, there could be telemedicine that how telemedicine uh, guidance of bystanders can, you know, and then epidemiology and public health domain related to cardiac arrest, that is disparities in outcomes uh, based on this racial, ethnical and socioeconomic disparities, public awareness and training, how this can affect pharmacological interventions like new drug therapies and these drug combinations. And these were the references for each theme. These are other things that you can use. Now, when we went, uh, let's, let's go to Gemini. Let's see what Gemini gave. Now, Gemini gave us some different set of uh, research gaps. So one was this optimal uh, post-cardiac arrest oxygen management related to post-cardiac arrest oxygen management of these patients. Another theme was this epinephrine's role in cardiac arrest. Then it was some resuscitation techniques for specific cardiac arrest causes like it could be uh, choking versus heart attack. Then was focus on long-term outcomes that most researchers focus on immediate post resuscitation outcomes uh, or survival. Uh, there's a gap on the long-term survival and in-hospital cardiac arrest versus out of hospital. So it says that. So these are the different references that uh, Jim and I provided. Now let's move to this Claudia. Now, Cloudy gave uh, very uh, some 
uh, different and some similar to Gemini and this chat GPT one was the optimization of this bystander CPR techniques and in this team it uh, you know uh, one thing that I liked in this uh, cloud day that first it gave you theme the theme was related to optimization of bystander CPR technique and in this theme what is the research gap it clear just specifies the research gap research gap is investigating the novel investigating the novel methods to improve the bystander CPR quality and outcomes and it with that particular research gap it gives you a reference then another thing uh, that it gave the team that was a personalized post cardiac arrest gap a bit similar than previous sponsors but the research gap explicitly was this developing the trailer treatment protocols based on individual patient characteristics and arrest etiology then another thing was neuroprotect strategies a bit same but with a separate then it gives the prediction models for survival neurological outcomes developing more accurate and reliable protocols prognostic tools for post cardiac arrest patients and with their reference and targeted temperature management optimization determining the optimal just uh, so uh, i'm not going in much detail uh, in cardiac as well, advanced airway management during cpr and research gap it gives and then it gives the genetic and molecular factors in cardiac arrest and the long-term outcomes a bit similar than previous responses so see the purpose uh, you know that was this video is was to how you can use the these uh, different ai tools there are many others but this these are the most common and easily accessible and in talk currently so you see that uh, how just in within few minutes i just uh, copy and pasted the same command in all these and how quickly uh, so many of ideas and so many of research questions research topics uh, uh, just came in front of me that that I can do a little more literature review uh, with these AI tools and other AI tools to just quickly reach my research topic and it uh, really can you know expedite your process of research. I hope uh, that this is, uh, video will really help you in your future research projects. Thank you.